But we put the different toast and stuff. Right. The different amount of toast on the barrels. Then the clone of grape you use them. I'd love to keep showing you this wine because I love it, but I have to get it out of the sun out of respect. Well, now that we saw everything that goes into making that, I can't just leave it in the sun. Uh, so there's all these variables and decisions a winemaker has to make. And what's the other interesting thing, and what they all say in common is it's a, it's a mixture of science and art and instinct. It's definitely, you know, uh, subjective. Uh, they decide, you know, when the grapes are ready, uh, how much of which lots and which uh, barrels put, how much sugar they should be in. And, and it's a learned experience. You cannot just learn it by books because they're putting together wines that don't taste anything like what they're going to come out at the end after they mature. And we're talking just in weeks of blending and finally settling down and they're having to get an opinion in their mind of what this thing is going to be in the future. So they have to have experience with that. You just can't, you know, imagine what this is going to be like without knowing, you know, from past experience. So yeah. It's an amazing art form. Yeah, but it's like we taste today, too. Wine in different stages, and it tastes so different. Totally. So they know how to taste it when it's young and kind of horrible in certain ways. <laughs> Uh, to know what it's going to be like later. I'd be having a heart attack my first vintage. I ruined it all. That it could turn out to be the Great. latest occult wine. You know? Yes, fantastic, <laughs> too. And then, you know, uh, as we know, uh, there is a reason for blended wines. You know? Uh, you know, you can make something more consistent by blending it. And mm -hmm. that's an art form. Because between the year to year, the different uh, everything, lights, patterns, moisture patterns, uh, you know, weather patterns that change, you know, microclimates. Uh, there's no way you can get a consistent product, you know, without having some type of blend. You know? So, a uh, single uh, have a very, very hard time to come up with a, a very good product. But they can come up with amazing ones, for sure. Oh, yeah, with the right venue. With the, <laughs> yeah, with the right venue, the right grapes, and uh, the right, you know, year. They can come yeah. up with amazing things. Which leads us perfectly <laughs> into Hartford Family Winery. We went there today too. Oh yes. Speaking of high risk, low yield vineyards, uh, that's the place. By high risk, they mean some years you're not even going to get any wine because it's right on the edge. These vineyards, like they have a vineyard. Well, first of all, Hartford is another winery like here, and in, in the theme of our tour, uh, Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, Mont Mason. Mostly, mainly, but they also do make some small.